Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while since I used the words Disney College Program in a title of a video because it's been gone for over a year now and I was like, oh my god, I just made all these videos on the application process. They're never going to be relevant again and I was right because it is back. So yay for that. First good news is that on May 3rd, which is a couple of days ago, they announced that the Disney College Program is coming back, which is so great for all of you guys who have been dreaming of doing it forever. But there are a bunch of changes that they're not really set in stone yet. We don't really know the full thing, but a lot of people have been messaging me on Instagram and asking me what has changed. Like I know for some reason, but I'm realizing that a lot of people might just be finding my channel now and they might still think that I'm in Disney or whatever. But I did a bunch of research so I could answer your questions and you could just watch me talk about it so that you don't have to do it yourself. So unfortunately, all of the videos that I've made of my own program and my application process and all of that are kind of irrelevant now because they're changing the whole process of applying. And we don't know the full details yet, but I do know some things that you guys might not be happy with. And I don't know if I even like it, but let's just talk about it. So. You just have to make sure that you still want to do this. If you're someone who literally will do this no matter what, this doesn't really affect your decision probably because it's fine. I'm like beating around the bush, so let me just get into it. On May 3rd, the first people who got access to apply to this program were the people whose programs got canceled in 2020 or they got sent home or whatever. Um, I'm not really sure how that worked. They got an email first allowing them to just apply without doing an interview, without doing all those crazy steps again, and they can just get full access with one catch. So they had to be able to accept for the next like five months at least, starting in June or possibly August, I think they could choose. And they had to be open to any role that they gave you. So even if you were set as like attractions, they might put you as custodial and you have to just take it. And you won't know until a week before you go there. Ha, ah, so that is tough. If you really loved the role you were in and now all of a sudden they put you somewhere else, they could very well put you in the same thing, but you just have to have an open mind and not expect a certain thing because they need people in certain places and that's just what has to happen. So unfortunately, that's not just the case for the 2020 people. It's also the case for the future members of the DCP. Let's talk about this. They have not released any information about when new people can apply. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're following official Disney programs on Instagram. Make sure you are signed up for email updates from the Disney College Program website. Everything will be linked down below. I definitely don't know if you guys keep asking me. I won't have an answer for you. You have to follow them and they will give you your answer of when you can apply. So that will probably be in August, I'm thinking, or in the fall because they're gonna give all the chances to the other people first. And then once they do that, you can apply. So new eligibility rules is that you can be graduated for up to 24 months and you can still apply. So it used to just be 12 months. So now if you're graduated for two years fully, you can still apply. So that's great if for a lot of people who don't have the time to do it during their school year or couldn't make it work with their credits or maybe didn't even get accepted when they applied in their college career. Because now that you're graduated, you can try two more times. So that's very exciting. It gives a lot more people opportunities. <sighs> and now we get to the tough part. Remember my whole video about how you could choose your role based on your personality and like helping you decide which ones you want? They have decided to take away role selection. So people who are applying in the future can't pick a top three roles. You just have to be like, I will do anything. And I guess you can kind of sway that based on your answers for whatever like interviews they have. You could say like, I have no experience cleaning or whatever, or like, I love to talk to people. I don't know what they're thinking, but you can kind of sway what you want based on how you present yourself and what then they will see you as but they still might put you at something you really don't want. And that stinks. And I know a lot of people are not gonna wanna do it. It's gonna weed out the people who just wanna do a certain thing. And it's gonna really put people there who want to be there so badly. So that's a good thing, but it also stinks for the people who have a preference. It also seems like they're going to shorten the application process. So originally it was an online application, a web-based interview, and then a phone interview. I'm not sure what they're shortening it to, but I just know that those are not gonna be the steps anymore. So. If they do figure it out, I will be making a video to help you guys, but they are gonna give you all the information that you need. Also, I know that for some reason they're not letting people live in Patterson or Chatham or Vista Way, which I think is closed now. I'm pretty sure all the CPs in the foreseen future are going to live in Flamingo Crossings, which is the, the brand new building. And I'm sure there's some videos of touring that on YouTube, but it seems like it's pretty expensive. So a lot of people might be choosing to live 
off property. There's a lot changing and it, I'm so sorry that you guys couldn't get the program that I got because everything just was great and I gave all that information out and now unfortunately it is not useful. <laughs> also I know that Walt Disney World's program is more popular but there are some of you that might have been in Disneyland and that's not open again so anyone who was in the Disneyland program for that year also can apply for Walt Disney World at this time. Disneyland is still not doing the program they kind of just opened again for the first time like last month so that's crazy and sadly the disney college program is the only thing that is opening up again so the international programs are not open right now the culinary programs not really professional internships right now so if you are international that's going to be coming at a later date i understand that that is probably a lot more difficult because of covid and everything and all the restrictions so stay patient because i know that your time will come too so don't worry and then as for covid I'm sure that the people who are going back now and in the next couple of months will still have to wear face masks. They are not um, requiring a vaccination. I heard that if you are vaccinated, they will put you in a dorm or a room with other people who are vaccinated so it doesn't, you know, cause any problems. So I think that's great. And something else I forgot to mention is now they changed their Disney look. So my friends used to have to cover up their tattoos every single day and I felt terrible for them. But now they changed the rules. So Tattoos are allowed if your whole hand can cover your entire tattoo. And if it's smaller than that, it's fine. It just can't be offensive. I think if it's bigger than your hand though, you still have to cover it, I'm pretty sure. It might depend on what it is. And um, also my hair, my ombre hair, wouldn't have been allowed when I did the program, but now it is allowed. So lots of different changes like that. And one more thing, they added a fifth key. So the four keys were, um, hold on. Four keys were safety, courtesy, show, and efficiency. And they also added inclusion or something like that which is basically just like promoting their love for everybody and acceptance of everybody their equal opportunities whatever so that is lovely i just hope all the best for the future for you guys and just be prepared that it's not going to be the same as all of the youtube videos that you've watched unfortunately i know some of you have been preparing before you're even in college obviously and in high school and you guys have just been ready for this for a long time but it is changing so Keep your mind open. It's still gonna be amazing. It might be even better. I don't know. We have no idea, it's the unknown. I hope you all get to have the experience that I had because it was so amazing and you will get your chance, I promise. So this last year has been really tough and it felt not very hopeful, but now we have some changes, we have some hope. So I'm very excited for you guys and keep me updated on what you guys think because I'm, I'm not really in the loop for the college program anymore. I only know as much as you guys know and maybe you'll be able to inform me now. So best of luck to you guys and I can't wait to see what happens. Bye.